Yo, what is up guys, it's Highcross, and in this video, I will be reviewing the brand new Endgame Gear OP1 8K Wired Mouse. Now, I know a lot of you guys will be like, Highcross, why would anybody even consider buying a wired gaming mouse in 2024? And honestly, that's a very valid statement, but after testing out this mouse in Fortnite, I was truly surprised. All the background footage you will see in this video will be me using the mouse in Unreal Ranked, so you guys can see how it performed in-game for me. With that said, let's get right into the video. Starting off with what comes in the box, you'll find the mouse, I personally went with the white color but it does also come in black. Along with the mouse you'll find extras like additional feet, grips, a cable tie, a screwdriver and paperwork all found in this little pouch. Overall nothing special but everything is packaged real nice and secure and the box is very very nice. Let's now move on to the shape and dimensions. The OP1 8K is compact, ideal for claw and fingertip grip users. Now I do want to mention my personal grip type is usually a palm grip, but I will sometimes use the relaxed claw grip. And for the past couple years my main mouse has been the Lashjack G Pro Superlight, which caters nicely to a palm grip, especially if you have small to medium sized hands like myself. And since I was so used to the Superlight, it took me a few days to get used to this mouse shape, but once I did, it felt incredible in hand. The shell is very downward sloping, again making it great for claw or fingertip users, but due to its smaller size, it may not suit everyone, and I definitely wouldn't recommend it if you have larger hands. If you want a mouse to compare it to, the closest option would probably be the Pulsar X2 V2, as it has a very similar shape. The OP1 8K weighs around 52 grams, which is a great weight and makes it around 10 grams lighter than the G Pro Super Lite. Now onto build quality. The mouse feels pretty strong all around with no flex even under a lot of pressure. The mouse feet have great glide and perform very well. The cable is also crazy lightweight and practically feels like it's not even there. I do want to mention however, I do have the cable threaded through a mouse bungee, which I'll be showing on screen right now, it's a Razer mouse bungee. I also strongly recommend picking up a mouse bungee if you do decide to get this mouse. It just makes everything a lot more easier and you won't feel as much drag with the cable. Now let's talk about my favorite part of the mouse, the buttons and switches. The OP1 8K features Kale GX mechanical switches on the main buttons, offering a crisp and responsive feel. And honestly, before this mouse, I've never really heard of the Kale GX mechanical switches, um, but after trying them out, they feel absolutely insane, especially compared to the G Pro Super Light switches. The Kale switches just feel very crisp and very responsive. The side buttons are as equally satisfying, and honestly some of the best side buttons I've ever used on a mouse. They are a similar shape to the super light side buttons, but feel way more crisp and sturdy. The only small downside I could find on the build quality is the scroll wheel. At times the scroll wheel would feel very stiff, and it would often make it difficult to reset builds. This could simply be due to the mouse being so new, the scroll wheel just needs to be broken in a little bit more, but overall it hasn't been a major problem, and it performs well for the most part. Now moving on to performance, the mouse is absolutely flawless with no lag or disconnection issues due to it being a wired mouse obviously, and sadly the biggest downside I found was that Fortnite does not perform well with the 8K Hz enabled on the mouse. I did notice that my frames were dropping down to as low as 150 when I usually get a stable 240. I also tested the mouse out with 4K Hz and 2K Hz, and sadly still dropped some frames with 4K Hz but not nearly as much with 2K Hz. I've been using the mouse mainly on the 2K Hz option and it still feels great, however I would have liked to be able to use it on 4K or 8K Hz to get the most bang for my buck. I do also want to mention, when I was testing 8K Hz out in creative where I wouldn't lose as much frames as in game, I honestly couldn't tell a difference in the smoothness or responsiveness of the mouse, and that is most likely due to me using a 240Hz monitor. And it's important to understand that you will be able to see more of a difference with 2K or 4K Hz polling on a mouse when using a 360Hz or higher monitor but most of the smoothness you will feel is all placebo. And a lot of you guys might be asking yourselves, well then what's the point of even buying a mouse that's higher than 1K or 2K Hertz if games can't even handle it? Well, the main purpose is for longevity, right? You wanna get a mouse that's gonna last you a long time and hopefully throughout the years, games start to adapt to these higher polling rates and will able to consistently support these higher polling rates. Sadly for right now, a lot of games just can't support 4K or 8K Hertz. I know a lot of games are starting to support 4K Hertz a little bit better, but sadly with Fortnite it's just not as optimized. 
Now let's talk about the software. The software is functional, but looks pretty dated. It honestly reminds me of a custom resolution utility in that it just looks like they didn't try to put together any cool colors from the Endgame Gear brand. There's no like cool yellows or blacks or whites. It's just very bare and looks a little outdated. It still allows for adjustments in liftoff distance, button mapping, DPI settings, and advanced settings like motion sync and polling rate. Lastly, this mouse is priced at $75, which is genuinely a great price that won't break the bank. However, considering the competition from high quality wireless gaming mice, it's not surprising that this mouse is priced lower than many other top tier options in the market. So to conclude this video, I think that Endgame Gear created an amazing product with their OP1 8K, and I'm absolutely loving the mouse so far. If you guys are looking into buying a new mouse, I definitely will recommend this mouse, especially if you play claw or fingertip grip, or even if you just play palm grip and are willing to learn a new grip type. I'll have the mouse linked down below if you guys are interested in picking it up. And with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the review, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.